the way we apply the sugar paste kind of seeps into the hair follicle, wraps around the hair, and then it pulls it out. The craft is always being perfected. It's like an art of hair removal. My name is Paige Elson, and I'm gonna get sugared today. Since I was a gymnast, I was in a leotard all the time. I think I was about nine when um, someone pointed out my leg hair, and I was like, Mom, do I need to start shaving? And she was like, no, you're just a little girl, stop. And I was like, Mom, I need to remove my hair. I think I started shaving my legs when I was 10. It took me a while to learn how to do it. Getting a cut on your ankle is the worst kind of razor cut to get. Um, what I know about sugaring, I know it's, but I feel like I've heard it's like more natural and you have longer lasting results of your hair removal. My name is Danielle and I'm the owner of Sugaring LA. I started sugaring about 13 years ago. Um, I had terrible skin and I was trying to find different natural ways to heal myself and my skin. It led me into beauty school and like how can I take care of it from the inside out? But then I also learned this great art of sugaring hair removal that I just fell in love with. At Sugaring LA, I think we're six years later and we have five sugaring salons along the West Coast. It's really exciting to see how quickly it's grown and how well people really took to it. Yeah, I've had bad waxing experiences before um, where they like ripped off my skin a little bit. <laughs> and so I'd have like weird like strip marks on my forehead. That happened one time and I was like, oh. No. We get a lot of clients that come and see us coming from waxing or shaving and you know having to shave your skin every day, getting that irritation from the constant friction. And you can get really bad razor burn if you try and shave every day and the ingrown hairs that you can get with shaving are terrible. Waxing, half the time it just breaks your hair or the hyperpigmentation you can get from repeatedly waxing your skin and pulling on the skin. Epilators kind of pull your hair out in every direction and then it's going to start deforming your hair follicle. With Nair, it's like using Drano on your skin. It just kind of burns down into the hair follicle as far as it decides to go. So you're not actually going to pull it out and get the results. Laser, you know, it's the last letter in laser is R for radiation. Plucking is gonna take you a really long time. You're always gonna have hair because you're always pulling them out at different times. We don't use any sticks or strips and no double dips. Our signature paste is made of lemon. Lemon is our natural preservative. Sugar, sugar is a natural healer. And then water. And they're all organic ingredients. It's literally just a gloved hand and one ball. So we have a ball, and this one ball is your ball and your ball only. We apply it against the hair growth. It seeps into the follicle, wraps around the hair. And then as we flick, it's removing the hair in the natural direction. shaver mm -hmm. your hair isn't like weakened or thinner and finer yet but because she has like th thicker skin dead skin cells and she's been shaving right it's like I get the I get a lot the first time but then I'm like loosening it as I'm mm -hmm. flicking and then I got to go back over and so it, it starts to turn this color because it picks up all the uh -huh. dead skin cells and all the hair
we're able to kind of go over the area a few times because it's just exfoliating the dead skin cells. So it's very thorough. We don't miss a hair. Just the quality of my skin looks better. She took off like a lot of um, dead skin cells and like told me how to exfoliate and stuff. So like my skin on my legs just like looks better in general. So the sugaring felt similar to waxing, but I actually thought it was like a little less painful, probably because it's not hot. Definitely want to go back when the hair starts growing back because I want to keep that. I can just tell like my skin is already really happy about it. So I definitely want to start transitioning into sugaring. It was a peaceful process and it was nice. <laughs> kind of an emotional release, you know, for them who have been holding this stuff that really gives them like body image issues and to be able to free people of those um, is great. And that's some of the favorite parts of what I do and why I sugar. Thank you so much for watching. For more videos, click here and to subscribe, click here.